We went to Brunswick, to Baum Brunswick. I forget what the what the exact target was, but you know, a lot of times we just dumped them on the cities. But all of us, we were going along, and, and we realized we were going to have ten tenths undercast, and everybody is oh, good, 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 because we thought, you know, that would keep the flak down. Yeah. Well, we got on the IP and went flying, getting re just about ready to drop. The first burst of flak was, there had been five shells. And our squadron was leading the group across Brunswick that day. They were exactly at the right altitude and between the first and second squadron. Because I was in the second squadron, we flew through the smoke and all. Wow. And they just plastered everybody behind us, you know, the rest of the di di mm. division. Well, of course, they had fighters, you know, that could radio down the altitude of Ow. the bombers, right. so they knew that. And then all they had to do was track with their radar. Those some bitches were good. Wow. Mm. They really were. Yeah, that technology is pretty incredible oh, what they had. Oh, yeah, yeah. I met a gunner, German gunner, as a kid. He was studying in the States years later. <laughs> he was from up near the Kiel Canal. He said he was something like 16 or 17, mm -hmm. and he was on a gun crew. Mm -hmm. You know, they were. I mean, they, we have two Flak 88s in our uh, at our foundation in Massachusetts. And yeah. That the gun sight that they used was absolutely incredible. Yeah. Very advanced technology. Yeah. Well, those were interesting days. Good. I don't remember f yeah. flying over the Remagen Bridge. Remember? Mm -hmm. That was the first bridge across the Rhine that the mm -hmm. American troops found that the Germans hadn't blown up. We were flying over it. That was interesting. Wow. Anyway, a lot of memories. You don't, a lot of stuff you don't forget very easy. I bet. So, I've, I've been, uh, I've been discussing nose art with uh, some people. Yeah. Because we've, We've got a lot of warbirds out on the on the air show circuit. <coughs> Who would have been doing the nose art? Is it the, the actual painting? It, I, I, I picked up my 24 in Topeka. Okay. And they had guys there that were really good at that. I mean, okay. they had made themselves good. Okay. And they painted my airplane, the M, before I left. Went overseas. Flaming Mamie, is that? Flaming what? Mamie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they took the plane away from me naturally because the M's all were scheduled to go to lead cruise. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, so they went to a, a base in Watton. You know where Watton? Oh, Watton, well, yeah. Well, that was a remodeling base, and, and so they took my plane. I was sick because it was a beauty. <laughs> but uh, the, those guys were very really good. So awesome. they did, they had, of course, they, as soon as a pilot like me <coughs> got a plane, these guys would come and say that they're an artist, you know, and what would you like to call you? And so everybody kind of yeah. thought, well, isn't that neat? So I had them put Flame and Mamie on. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a re my, my crew was really upset. Is there a reason for the name? You know, oh, Mamie. Well, do you or? remember that? There's a, it was an old song, Flamin' Mamie, a surefire baby, the sweetest <laughs> girl in town. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay. When she kisses, she kisses so sweet, she makes things stand that have no feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. So that was kind of a wartime uh, semi pal <laughs> song, but anyway, it was very popular. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, it sounded good to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> so I had a luscious 
the brunette on my <laughs> plane <laughs> with flames coming up. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have to that look that good. up. Oh, yeah. That is brilliant. Flaming Mamie. Flaming Mamie. Surefire baby. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, my gosh. So what uh, what aircraft did you get assigned once you were over there, once they took Flaming Mamie away? Well, you know, they, we went by train from there. Uh-huh. Because I had to leave wow. this. I landed at Valley Wales. Okay. Hmm. And they took the plane away there. Okay. And uh, went by train from there. Finally to Racky. So when you got to your squadron, or you got to your, your base, I should say, did they then... Um, is that it? What's that? Oh, yeah, that thing's right there. God, I can't see very well, but I don't know. Flaming Mamie. Is it? Yeah, I found a picture so on Google. Like, oh, really? Wow. That, that may be it. That's amazing. That may be it. It's funny. I never heard of anybody else ever yeah. using it. No. Uh, that's interesting. That is funny. Yeah. So when we got to the base, you just checked in and you know found your decent hut to right. bunk in, and uh, sure. then the squadron CO would decide which who got what who got what plane to fly. You know, right? First time you flew as a pilot, you had to fly as a co-pilot. Sure. They wanted to check you out, see yeah. what kind of guy you were. Right. And, and uh, you must have been an okay guy because they gave you your own crew, right? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and then I, I, I became a element lead after about three or four missions because I could fly the plane quite well. Good. And then eventually they promoted me to lead. I was in lead training at the end of the war. Okay. You know, you had to go through quite a bit. You had to have a hell of a good navigator and a good bombardier. And uh, flying lead was for a squadron was a little tough, a little tricky, you know, okay. because like if you were in the second squadron and the first squadron decided to accelerate, you had to pick that up real quick. And if it's sl you slow down, sometimes you'd have to swing out to the right, or yeah. And so you had to go through quite a bit of training. You thought you knew how to fly, and you didn't. You know gotcha. what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I can fly a real good formation. Uh, in fact, that's one reason they sent me to lead training, because the day we went to Recklin Lars, which was a German. Air base right out of Berlin. Mm -hmm. I got my three. I was ahead of this the three group, but I was flying immediately under the group commander Albert Schauer, and and I, he was a stickler on flying formation. He was tough son of a bitch. Anyway, <laughs> I said I'll show this guy how I I stuck the B twenty four up probably. 20 feet maybe mm -hmm. under his it, his gunners on the right side <laughs> kept looking and, sh and <laughs> get away <laughs> but it was a nice calm day right and I stuck right on his <laughs> butt the whole way awesome. and that's when they decided maybe I knew how to fly <laughs> that's awesome <laughs>